We've partnered with our friends at Xbox to bring you exclusive Sea of Thieves themed content so you can take your gaming channel to the next level. Hey everyone, Paige here with Clipchamp and in this video I'll show you how you can use our new Sea of Thieves gaming templates, stickers, video backgrounds, sound effects and music in Clipchamp. Start by logging into Clipchamp or sign up for free. Next you'll be taken inside the editor. I'll start by showing you how to access and edit our free Sea of Thieves templates, followed by how to access the stickers, video backgrounds, sound effects, and music. So firstly, to access the templates, navigate over to the toolbar on the left, then click into the templates tab. Now just scroll down to the Sea of Thieves template collection. Inside this collection, there are a range of different matching Sea of Thieves themed intro and outro templates as well as holding screens and overlay templates. Simply hover your cursor over the templates for a preview of what they look like. You can see which is which by the title of the template here. Now, when you've found the template you want to use, just click on the green plus button here to add the template into your timeline. All of the templates are designed so that you won't have to make many changes. They'll all have preset transitions, effects, stickers, and music. Now, depending on the one you've selected, all you'll need to do is update the text to your own channel or stream name. In this case, I have chosen an intro themed template. Firstly, to change the text to your own channel name, in your timeline, you will see the purple text bar titled channel name. Click on that text bar and it will highlight in green. Now navigate up into the stage and then select the edit text button. Now just type in your channel name. You won't have to resize this text for this template as it does have a preset zoom effect. Just play the video back and you can see it's now customized to your own channel name. For another example, let's say you've chosen a holding screen or overlay template. In this case, I've chosen a stream starting overlay. You'll follow the same steps to edit the text by again just clicking on the purple text bars that say stream name. In this case, there are three. For this text style though, you will need to navigate over to the property panel, then click into the text tab, and here you'll type in your stream name. You'll do this for all of the text bars needed in the timeline. You can use as many of these Sea of Thieves themed templates as you'd like. All you'll need to do is just create new projects and add them in. Once you're completely happy with your Sea of Thieves template, you'll export it to your device by navigating over to the export button, selecting your video quality. Then once the export is complete, a copy will automatically save to your device. You can also upload your video straight to one of our integrations on the left of the export page here. Next, let's say you have your own video and you'd like to add Sea of Thieves stickers, backgrounds, sound effects, or music too. You'll start by importing your video or gameplay video. Do this by navigating over to the import media button, selecting the asset, then hitting open. You can also import your media using our Xbox integration by clicking on the drop down arrow here, then clicking the Xbox integration button and following the prompts. Once you've imported your media, it will be accessible here in the Your Media tab. Now just add the video into your timeline by dragging and dropping it in like this. You'll then jump over to the toolbar and click into the Content Library tab. Now up here in the search bar, type in Sea of Thieves. All of the available content will then appear, categorized into videos, images, sound effects, stickers, music, and backgrounds. To add a Sea of Thieves video into your video, click into the Videos category, scroll through all of the options, just hovering over them for a preview. Then when you've found the one you want, drag and drop it into your timeline, placing it next to your other video. Now to go back into the other collections to add other content in, click on the X on the video button at the top here, and you'll be taken back into that main section. To add a Sea of Thieves image into your video, you'll follow the same steps we've just completed. For sound effects and music, click into that collection and then hit the play button on the tracks for a bit of a preview of what they sound like. When you've found the track or sound effect you want to use, drag and drop it into your timeline, placing it below your video asset. I will just need to adjust the timeline size now 
by zooming it out to show all of the content. I'll then just need to move that music bar to the very start of my video. Make sure to trim the audio track if it is longer than your video by dragging the end handle of the track to the left to meet the end of your video like this. Lastly, for stickers, head back into that main section and then jump into the stickers collection. Scroll through and find the sticker you want to use, then drag and drop it into your timeline, placing it on top of your video asset. Now up in the stage, just adjust the size of the asset by dragging the corners in or out to make it bigger or smaller. Then just move it anywhere you'd like on the screen. If you want the sticker to appear throughout your whole video, drag the end handle of the asset to the right until it meets the end of your video. You can also trim the start if you want the sticker to pop up at a specific section of your video. It would look something like this. And it's as simple as that. And that's how you can use our new Sea of Thieves themed content in Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.